this problem we want to find the zeros of the polynomial function. So we've got f of x is equal to 3x to the third plus 17x squared minus 12x plus 2. Now finding zeros means we want to set this equal to zero and want to solve it. So I'm setting the polynomial equal to zero. Now we're going to put the polynomial on y1 and zero on y2 on our calculator. So I'll press y equals, press clear. We've got 3x to the third, so 3x caret 3. If you've got a new T84, be sure you do a right arrow key, right arrow key to get it out of the exponent mode. Plus 17x squared. Minus 12x. Plus 2. And then down arrow to y2, and if you got anything there, press clear, and then put 0 in. You might have already had 0, like I did. Okay, now we're going to do second trace. Choose intersect, number 5. Our answer is to where it crosses the x-axis. Looks like over here, negative 6, negative 8, negative 5, something like that. So I do enter on first curve, enter on second curve, and we put a negative 5. And press enter. And we get negative 6.316625. Now that doesn't look like it'll change to a fraction, but let's t check it and see. So I'll do second mode, exit out. I'm going to press clear to clear my display. And then do math, enter, enter. And it doesn't change to a fraction, so we can't use that answer. So now I'll go back in, do second trace, choose intersect. And let me do enter on first curve, enter on second curve, and let me put zero in for the guess. comes back and tells us 0 0.316624479. Now that won't change to a fraction. If we did a, a second mode, exit out, math, enter, enter, it won't change. If you come up with one decimal that will not change to a fraction, you'll have two. Okay, let's try to find this other one. I'm guessing it goes down below the x-axis and goes back up. I'll learn to speak someday. So I do second mode. Oops. Never mind. Second trace. Five for intersect. Enter on first curve, enter on second curve. Let me put one in for the guess. And press enter. That's looking promising. 0.33333. That looks like a third. But let's do a second mode to exit out. And then we'll do math, enter, enter. And indeed it is one third. Okay. Well, that's the only answer we found from my calculator. So let's plug that into synthetic division. Now our largest power is x to the third, so real small across the top, all right, x to the third, x squared, x, no x. You start with your largest power and you have one for each power going down, whether you have it in your problem or not. The number in front of our x to the third is 3, number in front of our x squared is 17, number in front of our x is negative 12, and our no x, or constant term, is a 2. Now we want to go through a series of adding multiplying over and over until we're done. 3 plus nothing is 3. Then we're going to multiply. You multiply the number in a box by the number you just got put down there. 1 third times 3 is 1. Then we're going to add. 17 plus 1 is 18. Multiply. You multiply by the number in a box by the number you put down there. 1 third times 18 is 6. Add. Negative 12 plus 6 is negative 6. Multiply. Multiply by the number in a box by the number you just put down there. 1 third times negative 6 gives us negative 2. And then add 2 minus 2 gives us 0. Now, 0 is a remainder, means we found an answer, which again is no big surprise because the calculator told us this is one of our answers. Well, we're left. This says x to the third, this is 1 degree lower, so this will be x squared, this is x, and this is no x. So we're left with 3x squared plus 18x minus 6 equal to 0. Now, first thing I notice is they all have a 3 in common, so I can factor out a GCF. I do that, that leaves me x squared plus 6x minus 2 is equal to 0. Now, zero factor property. It says you get 0 on one side, you factor the other side, you set each factor equal to 0. So I set 3 equal to 0, and I'll set x squared plus 6x minus 2 equal to 0. Now, you never need to worry about setting the number equal to zero because it always just disappears, because there's no variable to solve for. But this other one, 
Uh, it doesn't factor anymore, so I'd use the quadratic formula. A is whatever number is in front of our x squared, which is 1. B is our number before our x, which is 6. And C is our number at the end, which is negative 2. And our quadratic formula is negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. I'm going to go through and replace my variables with parentheses before I plug them in. So I got negative b plus or minus b squared minus 4 times a times c all over 2a. Now we said a was 1, so wherever we had an a we'll put in 1. We said b is 6, so wherever we had a b we'll put in 6. And we said c was negative 2, so wherever we had a c we'll put in negative 2. So that gives us negative 6 plus or minus square root. 6 squared is 36. Negative 4 times negative 1 is a negative 4 times negative 2 is positive 8. All over 2. So we got negative 6 plus or minus. 36 plus 8 is 44 over 2. Now let me show the prime factorization of that uh, using a tree. So 44, I start with my first prime which is 2, it's divisible by 2, 2 times 22. Two is prime so I stop on it. Now I come to the 22, it's also divisible by 2, 2 times 11. And both 2 and 11 are prime so I circle both those. So 44 is 2 times 2 times 11, all over 2. Now remember with the square root, we're looking for a pair of somethings. Here's a pair of 2s. They're going to come out in front as a single 2. So we're going to have negative 6 plus or minus 2 square root of 11 over 2. Three number rule. If you're dealing with the quadratic formula and you can divide this number, this number, and this number by same number, do so. Well, those are all divisible by 2. Negative 6 divided by negative 2 gives us negative 3. Plus or minus 2 divided by 2 is 1. Square root 11. Over 2 times 2 divided by 2 is 1. Which gives us negative 3 plus or minus square root 11. Now up above, x equals 1 third. We got that answer via the calculator. So that's our first answer. Our largest power is x to the third, which means we're going to have three answers. And down here, we found this plus or minus is our other two answers. So that accounts for all three of our answers.